Did you know he was off to re-enlist? Yeah, he told me. And you didn't try to stop him? Well, I didn't really see any reason why I should. I thought it was his decision. Oh, God. Mum, it's got nothing to do with Sharon. Well, in that case, I want to talk to my son in private. Well, I'll just get off to work, shall I? Yes. Mm. Look, you go on, I'll sort this out. Nice to meet you, Mrs Mitchell. You see the reason Grant's gone off? Mum, it's not as simple as that. I didn't suppose it was. What did happen, Phil? He didn't go off and do something stupid again, did he? Yeah, sort of. He, uh... He hit someone. Oh, my God. And you let him go off and join up again? Well, it's not a question of letting, is it? I mean, I'm not his flaming keeper, am I? Yes, you are, as far as I'm concerned. We agreed. After when he got out of the army last time, after what he was like then... But that was eight years ago. Well, so what's changed? You tell me. Oh, for God's sake, Phil, didn't you know what he was planning? Right, there's just one thing for it. Where did he go? Aldershot? Yeah. Right, well, you go straight down there and you get him back. But Mum, it's too late. He would have signed up by now, wouldn't he? Well, maybe so, maybe not. You won't know till you get there, will you? Look, I've got to work on. I've got a car to pick up. No. Some... Right, so I bumped off early. It was only games. It's no big deal. Anyway, I weren't expecting to see you here. Obviously. And anyway, that's not the point. The point is it's not down to you to decide what's a big deal and what isn't. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about this later, then. Ricky, you seen Phil? No, I ain't seen him all day. Well, in that case, you better take these. He said if he wasn't back, for you to lock up. Right. At the proper time. Of course. Well, come on, then. I'm staying here, just to help Ricky. I'll be back in a bit. Well, you have to make your own tea. Kevin and me are going out. Yeah, all right. Well, see you later, then. Bye, Mrs. Mitchell. Bye.